Hello, my creative peeps, and welcome back to my channel for week 32. So, what I just started with this week was my bullet journal. I had sketched this pair of sunglasses, like, I don't even know how long ago. Back when it was probably, like, October 1st, and I was fooling myself, like, yeah, maybe I'll draw something for October. Yeah, not gonna happen. Um... But I did draw these sunglasses, so now I'm finally coloring them in with this little ombre effect. Um, I think I'm just still on the, I refuse to accept that summer is over <laughs> kick, so that's what we're doing. Uh, then I decided to work on this glassine bag. Um, I wanted to keep it as a pocket, but I didn't want it to just be the glassine bag. I wanted it to also be an insert. So I documented a photo on each side. One was a selfie because I always have selfies in my thing, as you know. Um, and then the other one was a picture of my breakfast one day, which was delicious. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, forgot to uh, turn the sound down again. There we go. Um, also drinking coffee at five o'clock in the afternoon because it's one of those days, so don't mind me. It's still very hot. <coughs> still very hot. Okay. So, what am I doing? Um, I had this scrap from the pen pal envelope that I had used way back early in the journal. Um, and I wanted to use it because it had stitching on it. So, I just stuck it uh, on that pocket. Kind of like the inside. And then I'm just taking... I dumped out all of my scraps. And I'm working in my journal. So obviously I have limited choices, um, which has been kind of fun. If you don't know why I have limited choices, it's because I'm house sitting. And if you want to see what I took with me, then I will leave the video of me showing you what I brought with me linked for you in a card. Um, so you can check that out. If you don't know what a YouTube card is, it's that little icon that pops up in the top of your screen during the video sometimes and you can click on that and go to that video in a separate window so yep i'm using a lot of my printable labels because that's what i brought with me i colored that one in with a zig clean color roll brush marker in like a navy color and then i'm just using washi tape and scraps obviously like i said and some more of the Happy Mail um, from the same person that I used the envelope from. Then I'm going back to these cards that I worked on um, and I'm just adding things to them. This is I usually go back and journal after. So I'm just adding a few labels of journaling there and then I'm going to actually journal on this like split card thing that I made. Sorry. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. Um, and if you didn't hear that, you'll have no idea what I'm rambling on about. But anyway, so just putting those back in the pockets there. Um, and then I decided to add this like location sticker there because um, I was journaling about a place that I went to lunch at before I got my tattoo. And now I'm just going through the, some word stickers to see if I can add them anywhere because I want them on everything. And using my date stamp. I'm seriously obsessed with this thing. I know I already said that, but I don't care. It's true. Still loving it. So I got this piece of this drawing basically with the lettering on it from Brie in her last Happy Mail to me. Um, and you'll see me use her artist card later, I think, unless I didn't film me putting it in there. Who knows? Um, so I clipped the Hello Autumn there and then strung some star string through one of the holes in the page pocket. And then I just um, took the staple out of that uh, skull thing there. Excuse me. Hiccups. Um, because I wanted to staple it over the photo that I was going to put there. 
So that's what I did. Um, it just says put your hair up in a bun, drink some coffee, and handle it, which is my current status um, right now, which is funny. But anyway, um, just going through some ephemera that I have, collaging because what else do I do? <laughs> I always collage all the things. And that paint was just on there um, as excess from a page I did last week. And then I took my Lamy with my carbon black ink and I just went around the edges and made like a star border thing, which I thought looked really cool. From far away, it looks like barbed wire, which is also cool. So, yeah. And then I decided to, so I have this magazine and I've already kind of used a bunch of things out of it. So when I get to that point where I've used a lot of the things I already want to use, I go through and I cut out any words that I might want to use, um, photos that I think people I do happy mail with would like. I'll take out anything I want to put in my inspiration journal and then any photos that I still want to use and then I just recycle the rest. I'll also tear off pieces um, that I think would be cool to layer in backgrounds. Um, so yeah, I just kind of went through that process and I guess it's like the last thing I do before I recycle the magazine. So it really helps when you only have like a few images left and you just want to cut down on the bulk uh, because they can take up a lot of space. And then I just sort them um, into my organizers, which you would have seen in my F How I Store My Ephemera video. And if you didn't see that, I'll link that for you as well. Um, but basically, that's just what I do. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. And then this is me. Um, there is a house near where I am staying. Um, and I go by it every week, obviously, because where I'm staying is one of my cleaning clients' houses. But anyway, I've always found their front door, like, really intriguing. It's I don't even know if it's a house. But if it is, it's a freaking mansion because, like, crazy. Anyway, so I took my Windsor & Newton sketching palette and I sketched out the house and then I decided to watercolor it in. So that's what you see me doing here. Obviously, um, you can't see my pencil lines. I used my Pilot Color Eno in the blue pencil so that I don't have to erase anything. And I kind of forgot how much I loved that pencil until I used it again, so I'm really glad I used it again. Um, so yeah, I'm just using the travel brush that came with the watercolor set. And going to town. I really do like this watercolor set for anything urban sketching or like landscape sketching or anything. It just has the perfect kind of earthy tone colors, very basic, um, very different from my <laughs> selected off colors um not off but i usually don't stick with traditional colors i like turquoises and weird shades of purple and stuff like that so it is always fun to kind of go in and do this um yeah I always feel like I have to talk through the whole thing, like, as if it would be boring for you guys if I didn't talk the whole time, but in all reality, you're probably like, can you just shut up, Leanne? <laughs> uh, I think it's because, I, obviously, I did it, and then I've already watched myself do it when I was editing it, so now I'm kind of over it, and I'm like, all right, speed up, hurry up. <laughs> so what I did there was I took my Stabilo pencil, and I didn't have any black watercolor because um, I didn't bring my other watercolor palette with me, so I just... Uh, pulled some on my brush and then made a little pan of watercolor um, which I thought was genius pat myself on the back yes good job um, so I'm literally just taking it right from the pencil and putting it on there as you can see just lots and lots of layers now I did go in with 
like a brown fine liner. Um, and I totally like missed that part. I also colored in the windows. Um, I guess I forgot to turn my camera back on, so sorry for that. But then I just went back in with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and did some finishing touches. I was really happy with how this sketch came out. I thought it was super fun. I love um, drawing buildings. I'm really into watching Minnie Small's uh, Haunted House Inktober series. Um, and it makes me want to draw more like houses and stuff. So I'm going to try and do that some more. So that was kind of my start to that. And I was working in a B6 journal that Brie had made me before she started selling her journals. Um, so I will leave Brie's channel slash shop linked below so you can check that out. She makes amazing journals. Um, but she uses this B6 size. And I had started this journal before I had drawn this girl. Um, and, this, and I did a take five challenge in it, I think. And I just couldn't get into it. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in it. And then once I did that sketch in it, I was like, yes, this is what this is for. I need to do more sketches in this notebook. So I'm just going through and kind of finishing up the pages I've already done, putting some of my current flair on them because it's been a while since I have made the pages. And then I'm going to continue sketching in it. So right now, um, I just put a quote on there. It says, surround yourself with the thinkers and the doers, the dreamers and the believers. But most importantly, surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even if you fail to see it in yourself. Um, I don't know who it's by, and I think I stuffed up the actual quote. I switched some things around um, and used some different words. So it's not originally mine, but it also isn't accurate. So, yeah. And then I glued some stars on there, which I got from Heba. She was so sweet and sent me a package, so and those were in there, so I did that. And then I used my Stabilo pencil to kind of tie it all together. I wanted to make it feel like one cohesive page um, and not just a couple things drawn on it. So I'm just using, again, the Stabilo with a brush and using it like black watercolor. And then I just kind of went back in and darkened her up. I used these a clean color markers back over her, um, and I didn't realize that that was what I had originally used anyway, so it worked out perfectly. <coughs> but she just wasn't as bold as I wanted. So yeah, just went back in and did that. And then I went to this take five page and this girl was really bothering me that her head was like chopped off and it was just floating there. Um, so what I did was I added that butterfly and then I added this eye. It just felt too empty and unfinished. Um, and in the moment I was really happy with it, but I'm not afraid to go back and change things if I'm feeling like it. So that's what I did. And then I went in with my carbon ink and just did a bunch of these little scallopy doodles. I don't know why, but I really like how it came out in the end. It just seemed so flat, I think was the issue. It just seemed, it didn't have enough oomph. And then I thought I was going to color those in, but I hated how it looked, so I just kind of stopped. <laughs> And then this, I felt like it needed some more something in there. So I just added some something jeans or whatever, blue jeans or something, um, distress oxide and put that blue in there. And then I was like, okay, cover time. Um, 
So I went in again with my Zig Clean Colors and some Distress Oxide and just made a water... Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. Made a watercolor thing. Um, and I'm just going to collage over it. Eventually. I don't do it in this video, but that's the plan. The plan, Stan. I've been really enjoying getting creative and kind of using supplies, um, not quite as I would usually use them, just because I brought such a limited amount of stuff with me, I'm forced to um, use things if I want certain colors in a different way. So I'm just showing you what it looks like after I did all of that, and then I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Heba also sent me some thickers, and I forgot to film it because I was way too excited, but I glued a bunch of them on the back of my journal to complete the back cover, and I'm so in love with it. I can't wait to do something like this again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Heba, um, for sending me those. Oh, there's that artist card from Brie. I just tucked it into there. I'm into doing my covers right now, I guess. So, yeah. That brings us to the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this creative week. As always, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Um, hit the bell notification if you feel like you're missing some because YouTube's doing that weird thing again. And you'll be able to get a notification whenever I upload so you don't miss one. And... I will talk to you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.